subscribe for daily gaming videos and vlogs. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be giving you a list of all the animals that I have ever had. Let's get right into it. But before we do, if you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone he think might like it. Let's do this. Number one, our first dog's name was Ruby. I was basically a baby when we had this dog, so I don't really know anything about it, sadly. So that's all I have for number one. Number two is our dog Boone. He's still alive out in his pen to this day. But just like the first dog, I'm, I wasn't little when we got him. I just really, I mean, he's still here, so I do know about him. But there's really not much to say about him because he's really just, you know, your typical dog. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's just number two. Number three is actually a fish, and it is our fish, Star. He was my fish. He lived a long time. Um, actually, he just died recently, sadly, but we thought he, were, he was going to live forever. Um, but we've had him for about, or we had him for about, I don't know, maybe three or four years, I think. But, um, yeah, again, just a fish, not much to say. So, yeah, that's number three. Number four is also a fish. Again, not much to say. Its name was Barry. Um, this fish, it didn't make it that long. It was actually my sister's fish. Um, its name was Barry, and there's really not much to say. Just a fish. They would wave at you like this sometimes. Star would do that too. They'd do this with their little fins or whatever. But, um, yeah, not much to say. That's number four. Now, number five is actually a fish named Strawberry. After Barry died, we decided to get a new fish, and its name was Strawberry. It was actually a surprise. Daddy got her a surprise fish because her other one died. But now we have another fish. Um, sadly, that one just died on Father's Day. So very, very, you know, very soon. Soon? I don't even know if that's the right word. But it just died, like, a, how long ago was Father's Day? Like, yesterday, I think when you're seeing this it will be two days ago but some um, yeah strawberry again fish not much of a description so that's number five number six is actually a bunny and its name was bun bun we got him from our cousin and really we just um he, we have had a little house for him it was kind of like a cool little bunny house um it wasn't too big um it had where you could open up little places on the top and you could open it up on the flat like the house was like shaped like this it went up then over then up and kind of like a point kind of and then around i don't really know how to explain it but you could open it like on this first over you could open that and you could like pet him so that was pretty cool um he did have a stage where he would scratch you or bite you whenever you put your hand in but he eventually stopped doing that like, we also had him a cool little bowl that you could put water around the edges so ants couldn't get in their food but anyway, that is number six. Number seven is another bunny. We got this one from a store and its name was Snowball. Completely white bunny. Um, he lived with Bun Bun, actually. We still had Bun Bun. Nothing happened to Bun Bun. Um, so, well, actually, we don't have him anymore, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, we got Snowball and we had him in the same house as Bun Bun, along with, along with another bunny, which I'll talk about in just a second. But one day, you know, the bunny, bunnies will try and get out if you don't have something under their house. So, one day, he dug out, and we don't know what happened. We don't know what happened to him. He was just gone. I'm assuming he's not alive, but you never know. You never know. But, um, yeah, that is number seven, my bunny Snowball. He was mine, by the way. Number eight was my sister's bunny that we got with Snowball, the, you know, more secretive bunny that I was talking about with Snowball that also lived with Bun Bun is Nature. This bunny was a grayish color and kind of white, I think. And it really was kind of like Snowball. You know, it didn't really do much. I think we, I don't think we ever let that one out. Well, we would hold them for like just so long. In fact, I would even take, no, it wasn't Snowball. It was our other bunny that I'll get to in just a second. But I'll talk about that in a second. Um, but um, yeah, not much to say about Nature, sadly. That one we died too. We were actually on vacation. Somebody was taking care of it. Can't remember who it was. But sadly, something was wrong with it. I don't really know. But um, yeah, that is number eight. 
nature. Number nine was actually my sister's replacement for nature and his name was Obsidian. Obsidian was a completely black bunny. It reminded me of Obsidian in Minecraft. I'm sorry, I'm like dealing with these um, notes of all the animals, but um, Obsidian, he was just solid black. He, he had his own cage. Um, Obsidian has his own cage. I don't think, I think Bun Bun was, was still here at this point. Bun Bun was, was still there. Um, after Obsidian, we got some more bunnies, which I'll get to in just a second. Actually next. But, um, number eight, or I'm sorry, number nine is Obsidian. Number ten was actually my bunny, and its name is Cuddles. Because he was actually a white and blonde kind of bunny. Um, he had, like, he was a white with little specks of blonde all over him. Really adorable bunny. That's why we called him Cuddles. Um, he had his, I think he had his own cage, and... Next, we got some stuff that would kind of disturb the bunnies, but I'll get to that in a second. But some, we have some more bunnies coming up, but that, um, number 10 is Cuddles. Bunny 11 is named Sophie. We got her also from our cousin. She came with another bunny that I will get to right after this. But there's really not much to say. Um, you know, just a brown bunny, I believe, with white feet and a huge lump in its throat for some reason. I think it was just fur, though, but it was adorable. Um... We actually did, didn't let these bunnies out, but Cuddles, um, we would let him explore the yard, but number 11 is Sophie. The bunny that came with Sophie was named Sugar, and this one was white with gray patches. Looked about like Sophie, but a little bit smaller. They lived in the same, um, little pen place, and they had a little door where you could open it and, like, pet them, but usually they would want to hop out, so you couldn't really do that much. But you could open it from one of the sides or to the left and then to the very back. You could open it from there, too. And there's really not much to say about that one, either, so that's number 12. Number 13 is not a bunny. It's our first cat, and its name is Bob. I don't know why we named it that, but it, he was the most adorable cat. He came with two other cats that I'll get to in just a second. But Bob was just this cutest little thing when he was a baby. Most adorable thing ever. Sadly, very sadly, we love this kitty so much. But very recently, sadly, he died. But there's nothing you can do, I guess. But, um, yeah, that is number 13. 14 came with Bob, and its name is Bella. This is my cat. She's still alive now. And she's really, she's really small compared to the, um, Bob and the other cat, which I'll get to in just a second. Um, her meow sounds more, like, raspy sounding, but she's so small. You can just, like, hold her. She would probably scratch you, but she's so small. Like, compared to our other cats, she, you can't, she's, like, so light. She's, like, a piece of paper. She is definitely the smallest of all our cats. Um, she's brown with, since I'm kind of colorblind, she kind of seems gold. I don't really know what anybody else would see, but she kind of looks gold. I'll put up a picture of her right now, right there. So there's a picture of Bella. Um, but yeah, that's Bella. And I'll move on to the next cat that came with Bob and Bella. Number 15 is my sister cat, Grayson. Um, Bella was mine and Bob was mama's, but Grayson was my sister's cat. Just beautiful gray cat, lazy, would just lay out on the porch like this all day, just all stretched out. We had a swing on our porch, so it would just like sit there all day. It was just the most adorable thing ever, but Sally, that one did pass away too. But again, nothing you can really do, but we love that baby so much. But um, that's number 15. Number 16 is a cat named... Big orange. I don't even know. <laughs> I guess it's because he was big and he was orange. So for some reason we came up with big orange. I don't even know. But he was an orange cat, so I guess that's why we called him orange. I don't know. But that's number 16. Number 17 is one that we actually have in our house now, and his name is Gary. He just does this all day behind um, a little thing. I don't really know what you call it. It's like an antique thing, but he just lays under it all day. He doesn't really come out that much, but when he does come out, he likes to lay on the couch, especially when you're asleep and you get up in the morning. He'll lay on the couch, and let me tell you a little story. Just last night, 
my sister opened my door and Gary ran up the stairs to my room, jumped on my bed, got his head, and just loved on my face like that. It was just adorable. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's number 17. Number 18 is actually our newest cat and its name is, I don't really know. We don't really have a name for it. We don't have a specific name for the cat, but it's an orange cat. Looks nothing like Big Orange, by the way, not even close. But I mean, for some reason, I, I don't really know the exact reason, but this cat has thumbs and technically all cats do have thumbs, just not ones that stick out, obviously, like our cat does. We don't really have a specific name for it. You can comment some ideas down below if you want to. I don't mind at all because that would actually help us a lot because we've been trying to figure out a name. We've been looking up online. We've just been trying to be creative like our other cats. But yeah, that is number 18. Now, when I was talking about the bunnies, I was saying I would tell you what happened to our bunnies. We actually gave them away to somebody and it was about one or two years ago now Cuddles, I think the guy's dog was barking at Cuddles or something like that and gave Cuddles a heart attack because bunnies are very sensitive for some reason. I don't even know. But um, yeah, and I think all the other bunnies are actually okay other than ones that I said, you know, something happened to them like nature and what, what was his name? I can't even remember. We had so many pets. It was Snowball. <laughs> I should know it. it was my own bunny. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please crush that like button and subscribe and share this video with someone you think might like it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.